Well, hello there, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended. Hope everybody's having a great day. We're back on our community server, which, um, life's been crazy. We had our first event yesterday, which went well, and uh, I subsequently went around and actually gave everybody their rewards for that particular event. I believe there is one person uh, that I actually owe something to who actually made it to the very end, but died just inside. I don't think I was there because we were following somebody else around. But the first event went well, and uh, definitely looking forward to the next ones. I think we're going to run the next ones actually on server this time, which I think will be really nice. And just doing a little bit more work on the beach house here. Or not the beach house, but the, the water base. Uh, it kind of took like, a little hiatus while I was trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. I think we're ready to kind of finish it up here. We're going to do some Thylakaleo breeding today. And um, and probably continue working on the base a little bit too. LJ, how are you doing? Melissa, Lady Star. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Thank you for coming to hang out, you wonderful, wonderful humans. We're just going to add these here. We're going to add this here. We're going to do the same thing with the... Basically what I've done is I've just kind of... I've extended it out a little bit to make it feel a little bit more open. Which I think is going to be really nice. It's going to allow us a little bit more freedom to, to do stuff, I think. So that'll be good. We just got to get all the railings back in place and, and all that wonderful stuff. Railings. Um, a whole bunch of stuff, actually. Did we decide to do... We did railings at the bottom, I think. And then at the top we did... We did... Ooh, something else. But I think I have an idea for, for some other stuff, too. Brawl Bex, how are you? Uh, Tiet, Luisa, Lil N, Vanessa, Melissa, Sybil, Care Bear, Umsda, Torrance, in the house, Bunger, what it do, Bell, LJ, Mystic. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. We're going to do a bit of a longer stream today. Uh, either a longer stream or two streams. I'm still trying to figure out uh, what's better. YouTube's been doing some stuff, some changes with the algorithm, so I've been debating experimenting whether one long stream is better or two decently long streams. I don't know, YouTube gets a little weird with stuff. But at least we can, at least the videos are posted a lot faster than they used to be, which is very nice. You've had a busy Sunday. Hope you're good, Tag. I'm doing well. I'm doing, oh. Stranger danger. Oh, why is voice chat not working? We have, oh, and they ran away. What the heck and what was that? <laughs> D and D tonight? Yes, got D and D tonight, which I'm very, very excited for. Um, we hadn't played D and D in a in a little bit now. Well, because yeah, because we skipped that last week. I guess this is yeah. So it's been the every other week now, so that's good. Immediate retreat. It's like ah, I've been seen. Immediate retreat. Let's see here. I've received the reward from uh, from the race. Mm -mm -mm. You weren't at the at the. I could have swore you did. Right, we'll have to figure it out off the stream. Can't do it right now. I gave away ten yesterday. Who did I give ten to? Uh, we're gonna go to windowed. There we go. This up here. Get my chat back. I was experimenting with different ways to have chat, and. Uh, we're just going to go like this. Oh. More strain. Oh, that's weird. Who, who this is? Oh, it's Doobie. Okay. Did you ever find the Griefer on the map? Uh, we haven't had any more issues. We actually think it's just the game is the Griefer. Uh, what's happening with the game is items, dinosaurs, literally everything is finding a way to 50-50 um, on the map. So essentially what's happening is everybody's stuff is, for some strange reason, teleporting itself to the middle of the map. And we don't have a reason why yet. Um, Sydney, thank you for the gift membership. And Defective God, welcome to the community. Um, so we don't, have a, we don't have a good reason for it yet. We don't have any more information about it. Um, but it's a problem. So I don't think we ever had a thief. I think it was just the server stealing stuff. And Niels, the server is a klepto thief, essentially. Organ organizing adults is harder than toddlers. Oh my god. 
Brad, you have no idea. Toddlers can be bribed with fruit snacks. Exactly. Exactly. Adults will complain that the snacks aren't the right brand. Yeah, toddlers are just happy to get a tasty little treat. Adults will be like, man, you got Welch's instead of, instead of something else. Oh, my God. Plus, plus, children will just listen to what you say. If you tell an adult to read, they're going to say that they read it, but they didn't. Also, thank you for that. Had tons of fun. Jatina, I'm sorry. It was fun, but I know it was also crazy, too. Your toddler's picky. Be like, man, you brought me some Welch's fruit snacks. Where them gushers at? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, kids say they read books, too? Yeah, but, I mean, the book is different than, like, like an email or, like... Like a, a post on Discord or something like that. Yeah, I read the information. No, you didn't. Dirty little liar. <laughs> Gushers are their own food group. It's that's that is a very good point. Gushers are indeed their own food group. All right, so we gotta get the uh, we gotta build a Thylakaleo um, sex hut. So that'll be a good time. Let's see here. I think this one we're going to do wood, wood. And we'll do wood, wood. No, because that's going to mess up the vibe. We can't do that. Man, now I'm craving some gushers. Man. Shouldn't start talking about gushers. It's going to be a problem. Died before the start of the race while we were gathered for the group picture. Oh no, Guizan! To be fair, everybody, they still make gushers? Of course they still make gushers. Where have you been living? Oh, that's the, uh, that's the sweet sound of a megalodon trying to jack up my house. Oh, I swear to God, if you ruin, I will punch you to death! You want some of this? I will fist you! Don't you dare! This freaking house has been a pain in the butt to make. Gushers aren't as good as they used to be? What? No way. No way. Now and laters? Oh, I do love me some now and laters. When naming snacks tells your age. <laughs> Gushers like chewy fruit snacks that are filled with juice. Yeah. <laughs> juice question mark is a, is an apt description of, of what a gusher is. It's... The heck? I think we're good. Alright, so let's see here. We've got some fish meat in here. Let's go and, as much as I want to keep building the base, I do want to get the, the Thyla brown chicken brown cow house built. So I feel like we should do that. We're going to need... Also, I died and I lost all my stuff. So we're going to hunt for drops today, too. It's a big bummer. It's disappointing, but it is what it is. Um, I lost all of my gear. Disappeared into the ether. So, small, small problems today. Maybe we should... Uh, should we breed butt stuff? Nah. Oh my god, there are so many Megalodons! They made Dunkaroos again? Oh my lord, I remember Dunkaroos. Yeah, the Ascendant Pike was fire. Uh, but unfortunately I died, I lost everything, I lost all my gear. Uh, I, that's, that's why I'm naked. I don't try and be naked all the time in Ark, but... It seems to happen more often than not. Tag talking about fisting and butt stuff and wonder as it gets demonetized. Look! <laughs> it doesn't have to be that. <laughs> so many negative reviews on Steam, losing gear and progress and stuff. Yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare. I mean, I know, I know the people on our server too have experienced a lot of troubles. Um... Especially when it comes to streaming as well, like not only me, um, or Arena Sky, I think, started streaming. And I left the house. I left the house for a little bit, and then everything exploded. Um, 
I know it's I know it's been a bit of a bit of a pain, but um, thank you to everybody that has been dealing with the troubles. A lot of this stuff, is, unfortunately, has been completely out of my control. Oh, stamps breeding Thylas. Tag help. What you need? <laughs> Stamp stuck in the thyla. All right, can I whistle the thyla? I'll whistle the thyla. Juvenile best order 66. Ooh, there we go. I got you, Stamp. <laughs> I do miss the fishnets. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So Stamp is breeding thylas as well. Oh, okay. So she's already made F1 and F2. We've got another baby right here. What's this one? Is it a female? We're gonna have to make a, uh, we need a sex pit for him, unfortunately. Right, so that's a male. All right, Operation Thylacleo Sex Pit is underway. We need foundations, pillars. We need walls. I need clothes. Clothes would be great. Stamp, does Stamp have clothes on? Stamp's also naked. <laughs> it's a beach, okay? This is now just a nude beach. I think is I think is what we're uh, what we're going for here. <laughs> Herbivore Island is now just a nude beach. Right, we got an ascendant pick. That's the one I gave to Stamp Stamp. Stamp Stamp with the Tramp Stamp. All right, we'll do uh, we'll do wood for this one, and then we need those foundations. All right, I think we're going to make the Thylacaleo sex hut over here. I need to turn it. And we need to destroy some stuff as well. The raptor sex hut has also gone the way of the dodo. <gasps> we should we should have like 50 billion RG eggs right now too. Should we hatch a whole buttload of RGs? Stamp also showed me a little trick for RG mutations or not for uh, for eggs. Which I want to showcase. Well, that sucked. I feel like we should definitely hatch a bunch of RGs. <clears throat> Plus, we're naked right now, so I mean, that's just good luck, right? We should have a bajillion of them. RG. Look at these. Look at all these sweet, sweet RG eggs. Can I carry them all? No, no, I can't. Okay, that's that's a smidge of a problem. Oh my god, how many? A couple thousand pounds worth of RG eggs. Holy Christ. Tag, you're killing, or Rena, you're killing off your colored RGs. <gasps> Why? Did you get your fully mutated bird? That's exciting if you did. Maybe we'll get a color that you need. Oh, you did? What? Uh, what's the colors that you went with? I'll have to come see it. That's super exciting. So, we need to do a poll also. I think... I want to do a mutation event next week. I think... Ugh. You know what? It's worth it. We'll, we'll get there. It's just going to take a second. No one wants to buy them, so you're killing them off? Oh my god. What? At least do it in a fun way. That's crazy. I'm glad you got your fully mutated one, though. I might I might steal one. I'm trying to breed blue thylas. Already got blue stripes. Nice. Maybe if we get enough likes, Stamp will take requests for new tag tattoos. Oh my god. Want to see all the pretty birds? It takes a hot second to fly over there. I need to... I guess if we took a pteranodon, it wouldn't be so bad. Well, she had some really pretty mutations last time I was over there, too. 
waiting for Tag's so-called revenge. Shh. Oh, wait, I need a dinosaur. Ugh. Order 66, come here. Eh. You'll save a couple? All right, save your favorite one, and then maybe we'll we'll use that mutation. What happened to the beautiful art of my body? I woke up dead and I lost literally everything. Um, so I also, according to Stamp, if we are on a dino and we drop eggs, kind of the old egg dropping thing comes back. <gasps> Kind of. So they're not like... They'll separate this time because they won't hatch inside of each other, right? It's less... It's less stacked. Alright, so this is our actual first RG, like, hatching. There's gonna be a lot of babies. We haven't done, like, a full-blown hatching in a, in a hot minute. Um, oh god. Sorry, I didn't want y'all to look inside of me like that. My bad. It is slower, but it is also better. So if we do this, we can only do like two at a time. Right, Raptor, could you come like this way, just like a smidgerooski, please? Maybe? How far back was that? That was many, 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 many years ago. Oh, you suck! This game sucks. Alright, so the raptor is freaking stuck. So that's, that's fantastic. <sighs> they have to figure out how those walls work. Oh, 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 it moved, it moved. God, I love AI. It's so good. <laughs> I'm going to punch a baby in the face. Directly in its grubby little baby face. Come here. Just stop, stop, stop. There we go. Why are they glowing red? Oh, because they're fertilized. We're going to try and hatch. I feel like, I don't know how many this is, but I feel like it's a number of them. Why a baby? Because only somebody very, very angry would punch a baby in the face, you know? Or they're crazy. And I don't think, I don't think I'm crazy. I mean, I'm going crazy, but I'm not like crazy. I didn't say what kind of baby either. Maybe it'd be like Hitler baby. Go back in time, you know? Would you punch a baby in the face if it was Hitler? Like, yeah, that baby hasn't done anything yet. But maybe that punch in the face as a baby is what caused that baby to become Hitler. So, like, there's choices to be made, you know? This is about to be Feathered Madness. It's gonna go horribly, horribly awry. Oh, shoot. We need gas. Yeah, I would punch Baby Hitler in the face. But at that point, you might now, but everybody else would just think you're punching a baby in the face. That's true. And then be like, that baby Hitler got punched in the face as a baby. No wonder he wants to murder everybody. I would never punch a baby in the face, okay? I knew. 
Oh my god, I just did a big dumb. I hit F instead of E. And picked up 20. I, want, I thought I picked up all the eggs for a second. My heart stopped. There's at least a couple hundred eggs out here right now. This is pretty nice. This is the most eggs we've gotten to try and hatch at. My stupid fat finger. My stupid, fat, stubby, idiot finger hit F instead of E. I don't even know how I hit F. Oh, God. You fat fingered idiot. Why don't you have enough weight? Oh, God. We need a different raptor. We did an egg dropping raptor. God, look, Stamp is just going to freaking town over there right now. How much weight you got? Oh, you got all the weight. All right. Motherless is now our egg dropping thing. Let's just hope tag it. This isn't going to get tag retitled how I broke the server. You know, we haven't tried to hatch... Right, I lied again. Wait, who's this? Oh. Did somebody bring this gift to us? Who was this? Was that Chubby? Auto chat box. All right, should we should we pay um Sky a visit and see what mutation she's got? Maybe we can do a little bit of a trade. I don't know. I don't know what you're mutating next, guy. But uh, maybe we can do a little bit of a trade so that way it's not like a gift. You know? Are you mutating Thyla's next, by chance? Somebody's whistling in the freaking grass again. Let's hatch these RGs and see what we get first. Not yet, but you will soon. All right, so maybe we'll do that. We'll get the Thyla mutations today, and maybe if there's one that you like, bring it by too. What a disaster. This is going to go horribly, horribly awry. What do we think is faster to get across the map? A Baryonyx swimming or a Pteranodon? I feel with them being slight. Oh, those didn't slightly displace. Everything incubating now. We got a minute and 33 seconds. Don't let your fat, stupid fingers anywhere near the keyboard. And this should go great. We got a minute. <clears throat> I think we're going to get at least three mutations. Maybe. How's the office coming along? I am back in the office now, or like downstairs. And uh, basically all I've done is just kind of get 
everything back in here. Are you going to use stats or color mutations from Sky? I think I'd like to, to, to just pick one with a color that I want to use for our RG. Oh my lord. It's happening. It's working super well so far. Why? Oh no. Baby, come back. Oh no. Okay, this is bound to happen. This is fine. This is great. This is exactly what... Ooh. We got a magenta head. This is so loud. <laughs> oh no. We've got bird Jesus here. Oh, no, no. Okay, we got a couple mutations. <laughs> we got a purple head. We've got some anti-gravity Jesus RGs. All right, so this one right here, that's 254. That is one of them. We're looking for 254s for mutations. Everything should be 252 unless it's, there's a little blue bird right here. All right, that's a blue. Oh, we got another one. We got a couple more anti-gravity birds. This is great. This is exactly what I hoped and dreamed of. The rapture of RG said, <laughs> yeah. Jesus, take the wheel. Look, the server is great. Nothing bad happened. We're all living our amazing dream. 250, was that 257? No, I was just having a stroke. Oh no. I think we got two mutations. I said three, right? Oh, no. Stamp claimed another one. That's a 254. So we did get three. I think that's all of them. Yep. There's a lot of babies down there. Oh... Uh, Oh, the best order, 66? All right. Good choice, Stamp. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, say farewell to all the babies. Oh, all the oh, baby Jesus are coming back. LGD, thank you for these seven months. How are you? I don't think any of these are mutated. No, they all look exactly the same. All right. Has Jesus... What? Why is he yelling no? What? LOL. Watch the death. <laughs> I love that he's just here to watch. All right. Oh, that's a lot of levels. Don't kill them all. It's done. We're boosting all... All melee damage on here. Loving the art content. The member event had me dying. Oh, LG, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's so loud. Don't worry, we got a couple hundred more to hatch still, so I think we're going to be okay. You just got so much XP. Yeah, it's such a good way to level. Right, we're going to boost two into weight. I just made dino nuggies to go with the dino stream. Hell yeah, Vanessa. Live your best life. Man, all the nice meat that we got. So worth it. Oh, there's a rogue baby. Hello. Can a baby come back? Are you a female? Ha! You're going to be going in the sex pit later. I remember being so sad the first time I saw you doing this. Now it's just normal. Yeah, we have a dino limit on the server. Every server does. So you, you literally just, you cannot save them all. All right, so what other birds we got going on here? These are our current bird mutations. We got like a little like lavender... Or like a light pink chest. We've got uh, baby poop green back. We've got a green head. 
We've got a green body. And I don't know what's going on with this one. Baby Thyla's running around everywhere. Yeah, Stamp's not keeping track of her baby making. This is why we need the Thyla pen. Let's do that now. Before we hatch more Argies. Look at the little birds following Stamp. That magenta head looks so nice. All right, before let's let's do a thing before we do anything. We need we need to do two things. We need to go to Skies just because she wants to currently murderize all of her birds, which is fair. We're gonna take a Pteranodon out there and uh, and see if there's anything that we want to save. Is this one imprinted? No, it's not. Does imprinting improve speed? Do we know yet? This one has 84 and 34 levels. Chilling with the kiddo, just watching them make the meat for some dino nuggies. Oh, yeah. Right, let's boost stamina. Why are we all naked? Uh, I died, and I think Stamp probably died too. If I'm, uh, if I was betting on anything. So we're going to run to Skies. We're going to stop at Drops, hoping to get some clothes. We're hoping for some higher level clothes right now. Because uh, we died. We lost all of our gear. Lost all of my, my Ascendant Pike that I was using. Uh, we'll stop at some bases too, maybe. Oh, that, that drop got picked up right quick. Do I know what killed me? No, I just died. I have no idea what killed me. I even looked in the tribe log. It just said I died. I logged on and I was dead. Probably starvation. Yeah, but I was offline. Although I could have, maybe I left myself online. I probably died of starvation, let's be honest. I, pr I most likely died of starvation. Artie Nuber, thank you for the super chat. Uh, also, ladies and gentlemen, if you are enjoying the, uh, the Ark series, a like would be greatly appreciated. Oh, that's so high, so far away. We're not waiting for that. And, um... If you're looking for a server to play on, this is a community server. You can become a member of uh, any of the streamers on the server to be able to join. Become a member of me if you so desire. Uh, I think we're going to be launching another server this week, too. Um, I just posted in Discord uh, for what people would like for changes. And we've got a lot of people playing on the, on this server here. And I know that people are, you know, like we got two people building right here, which, ooh, what do we got going on right here? We got a nice little purple bird. You know, I'd love to see people start tribing up and working together and stuff like that, too, before just adding another server. Does the server have a limit? There are 83 folks logged in at the moment, and I can't seem to log in. A um, hundred people should be the limit for concurrent connections. Um, that is a current, that's a new glitch. And Jatina, if you crash the game or like close the game, log back in, you should be able to log in. Uh, there's a bug currently in the game from like an update or two ago that causes that to happen. All right, we are going to wait for this blue drop though. Uh, also, if you want to become a member, it's Super Bean or higher. Now we have had uh, downtime on the server. Unfortunately, there's uh, a couple of bugs currently with running a server in the game that we don't have much control of. Um, but I've set up precautions to quickly fix them now, at least. I'm paying for extra servers that I'm not using. So that way I can transfer the data over there and quickly get them booted. Because currently what you have to do is you have to, you have to find out what's glitched. You have to delete all or delete all the potentially glitched things. Then you have to wipe the server. Then you have to reinstall the server. Then you have to load it up and hope that it works after like five restarts that the server actually works. It's crazy what uh, what you have to go through to get a server to work right now. <laughs> but trying to limit downtime as much as possible. Yeah, 
Incoming Dino Dad joke, why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Because the pee is silent. Would you like your Ascendant Pike? You don't want it? No, 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 no. I'm not a big fan of getting gifts, Tyr. How you doing, little buddy? You want to go maybe do something else instead of stick your butt in my face? Be pretty awesome. Uh, but, you know, let me know if that works. Yeah, we currently have 100. I think 100 is probably the best cap. 100 concurrent players is... Uh, is a lot for a map this size. I think when we do a modded map, we'll be able to do more. But currently mods are completely broken. I kind of want to start a Zvartelheim one. Oh, we got gloves. We got an Arenio saddle. Has anybody actually checked out Zvartelheim? Is it good? Do y'all do like it? Mithku. Sounds like a nightmare. That's cause it is. And it happens at the most inopportune times, usually when I'm in bed. You really like Zwart? I might add that. If I can get a modded map to work, I will, but I don't know if it's gonna... I didn't want to add another map for a little bit, but we'll see. The Pteranodon is definitely the much better choice for getting two skies quickly. This attack's no longer to, to sleep. Yeah. Ooh, we got some pretty birds over here. Jesse, unfortunately, if you can't find it on Google... There's not going to be a single person on Earth that has information for you. If you can't Google... Like you don't have to watch any videos. Don't have to ask any YouTubers. If you can't do, when is Ark Ascended coming out for consoles? And there isn't an answer on the first link? Ain't nobody going to have any more information than that. What happened to Stamp's artwork? I died. The artwork disappears when you die. Shizka, thank you for coming to Super Bean. Welcome to the community. You posted a TikTok on Discord about console release? Oh my god. If I had to guess, though, I would say probably not until December or the very end of the month. They have so many problems with the game right now. Like, so they're... The thing we have to remember is, like, the contract that they had with Natrados, they had to release Arc Ascended on the PC at the very least. Or Arc Ascended had to release at the end of October, which, you know, technically a PC release constitutes that. Um, or they were going to lose a buttload of money. And they achieved that, so I don't think they're going to release consoles until it's ready, because the game is a buggy disaster. <laughs> it said November 14th for Xbox. I would be... I would never believe that. I don't think it's anywhere near ready to release for consoles. Ooh, we got a Sarko saddle. I wanted to tame a Sarko today. That's perfect. Hell yeah. Somebody else posted a TikTok on Discord. I don't... I, uh, I started on TikTok, but it was like... The only reason I started posting on TikTok was because somebody was stealing all my stuff. It's not really worth it. Get like 10 million views and make three bucks. Evo, thank you for coming to Super Bean. How are you? Ooh, this space is looking good. Got everything painted, too. I believe this is where... Um, 
all of Sky's you know, people are building, which is actually a really great like community location. It's pretty perfect. TikTok is <laughs> lucrative. <laughs> if you want to be poor, yeah. Or if you do like if you can do like makeup stuff and get like brand deals that way, then yeah, but Oh my god, this guy, look at all these. What the heck? What happened to in-game voice chat? I don't know why it doesn't work anymore. Like, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand. Oh my god, the amount of inf the amount of people that are like, oh, did you see this on TikTok? This oh, look at that blue. Oh, that looks so good. All right, where is we got to find Sky's fully mutated one. <gasps> the orange and red looks pretty fire too. Oh, what do we got going on here? I'm curious what this uh, what this build is gonna be. Ooh. These are what's left. I killed some already. Go to the base in the back. Oh my god, there's a base in the back for the birds. Oh my god. Emily, how are you? I'm assuming this is this the base in the back? We got floating Fiomia. Am I saying your name right? Or is it just Emily like Emily and I just add the extra E just because there's an extra E in there? <laughs> I probably should know this by now. After a year. Oh, right but right behind. Wait, is this not behind? Oh, you know. <gasps> oh, look at that one. Oh, that's super pretty. Oh, my goodness. God dang. These are your high ones so far? They look great. Oh, this this magenta butt with the red tips looks really nice. I don't know. If you get the magenta butt, and then I did that with with the per, with the magenta head would look really, really good. Sky, do you want the do you want me to bring the magenta head mutation that we did you fully mutate one yet? Oh, look at the purple wingtips too. Oh, that looks so good. Ooh, not fully, no. I could bring you. Do you want a magenta head to go with the purple? I'm assuming you're going for like the the like the dark purple, the magenta, and the red maybe. Oh. But then we got a nice little blue one there, too. All right, we can do some we can do some trades. All right, so I I really really like this this right here. This looks so nice. Honestly, the colors are just there working on stats. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. 3,431 HP is really, really good. You left the magenta head at the uh, community center. Ooh. Did you know you can a torch? <laughs> a torch. <laughs> you can attach torches to saddles. I did know that. I did. Um... Let's see here. Why is this happening? Customization. Insert 
craziness from happening. Franklin, how are you doing? Claim it. Oh. <gasps> Sky, thank you. Realize I have caps lock on. I think the purple body and the blue tip tail work really nice. Alright, so now we gotta bring we gotta bring a magenta head here. Cause I think that'll look really good with the magenta body and then getting the, the head up there as well will look really, 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 really good. Alright, so we're gonna have to whistle this one. And then where did my bird go? Whoa. Alright, so we got a bird we gotta bring Birdie McBirdface back to base. I love seeing everybody's bases and mutations and stuff. They look so good. The different combinations here, that green body looks really nice too. Alright, alright, let's go let's go back to base. We got Thylas to we got Thylas to breed. Looks more like hot pink. You don't think that's magenta? Honestly, it's it might be better than magenta. It might be hot pink. This Vart is pretty cool. Lots of new stuff. All right, so we gotta, and uh, Sky, I'll check my, well, no, we already know that your, your RGs are better because we got our RG stats from your RG stats. Hmm. The plot don't thicken. You have an RG with a deep purple, like Twitch purple, if you wanted to breed its colors. Ooh, Jonas. Uh, Svart also has custom dino variants. Maybe I'll add that as the, uh, the one with the purple head. I got you, Sky. I'll bring it over once it's fully grown. Mm -mm -mm. Desert Flygon, how are you? Am I going to name them? I feel like I got, it's just Emily, but it's spelled differently. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I should have noticed that earlier. Oh boy. Ooh, a 3790 health RG. That's really nice. Um, do we know if, uh, is, if Svartalheim is a larger map than, uh, and this, you know what? Maybe we'll do, I will set up, I will literally set up a Svartalheim server right now. So far testing on a friend's server, this is the only one working. Add crowd parts, no delete dinos. Still breaks as far as I know. But also breaks servers because mods aren't working right. <clears throat> It's a no-fly map, so not huge. Wait, there's no flyers on the map? <laughs> what? All right, hold on. I'm, I will set up... I'm going to set up a Svartalheim map right now. Give me a moment while we're flying this, and we will... We'll check it out. We'll check it out. We'll find out if it's something we want to actually use. This is the, the bonus of having extra servers. Because I, I want to check it out. I don't know if we have any other maps available. I, I genuinely don't think we do. Let's keep flying. Or at least, how are we doing on stamina? We'll land. Because I know people were asking for extra... First Forge mods. 
No flyers, just gliders. I mean, we could add mo we could add creatures to it, which is the Arc Editions. Um, let's see here. Popular mods, features mod, featured mods. How do you search for Savartalheim? We got a lot of different mods now. Unfortunately, most mods are breaking. I think map mods are working, but most other mods are not. Most downloaded mods should be. Ooh, automated arc is nice. Svartalheim. Ooh, almost 200,000 downloads. Nice. All right, so we were going to save that. I will launch it and we'll log into the server to check out Svartalheim. Uh, it's the event server, so anybody that has access to the members' community center or. <laughs> Anybody that's a member that wants to check out Zvartalheim, feel free to log in uh, once the server starts. I've got the I've got the the map mod loaded onto there. Um, you can check it out. We probably need some information if it's worth actually using or not. Um, otherwise, we'll just go with the vanilla map for now. Is it clustered? I think clusters are currently broken. I could be wrong, but I, I think sir, I think clusters are broken right now. If anybody has any information on clusters, I would really, really appreciate it. The Discord server still hasn't let you in. Mako, it's because you're not a member. Jesse, how are you? Good to see you back playing a Hark. Oh, yeah. Are you enjoying Ascended? Clusters are disabled? That's what I... That's what I thought. Shoot, where'd the bird go? Oh, you're a Twitch sub. Um, are you able to message me on Discord? That's super weird. Hmm. Do we need the mod? Yeah, when you try and log into it, you'll automatically download the mod. We'll check it out here in a second after building the uh, Thyla sex hut. Not right now, buddy. Am I going to do the Extra Life event? Yes. Last year was actually, which I'm super sad about. Um, last year was actually the first year that we did not do the Extra Life event. And um, had a lot of stuff going. <laughs> Had a lot of stuff going on at that point in time, but also I had an event planned, but um, ended up losing contact with that person for what we were going to do. Mary Jane, how are you doing? Oh, you did? Oh, Mako, I'm sorry. I feel like I don't get alerted to Discord messages like I used to. Do you and the family have any flans? I have no flans for Thanksgiving this year, unfortunately. I wish I knew how to cook a flan, but uh, unfortunately, I don't. Uh, but I also have no plans for Thanksgiving this year. I think I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be all by my onesies for Thanksgiving this year. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna get the uh, little man or not for for Thanksgiving. Otherwise, I'm going to cook a ham, I'm going to eat a lot of food by myself, and uh, and then take a nap. It's going to be great. I do need them sweet, sweet tax write-offs. <laughs> but no, I do plan on doing... I, you know what? I, I, I don't think I have plans for Thanksgiving, so maybe I will do the Extra Life on Thanksgiving. Give y'all something to watch while... That's probably a bad idea, because so many people are going to be stuck doing family stuff. Usually do like Friendsgiving, but all of my friends are married and have families now, so like Friendsgiving is like less exciting every year as you get older, and it just becomes like a solo giving. <laughs> Here, could you not be a fat, annoying cat on my keyboard? Are you by yourself? You can come to Minnesota if you want to join. <laughs> ah, yes, all the way to Minnesota. You 
gave her cats. Exactly, exactly. We both have a kid and I'm pregnant, so it'll be super low key. Hell yeah. Oregon sucks, but we have bomb ass food. Tear. I cannot use my mouse. Could you please go somewhere? Look, here, treats are over here. That's where you're gonna live. Okay, that's fine. I didn't want to be able to stream anyways. Usually the cats follow me everywhere, but Tyr, I think he's like ascended in consciousness. Like I'm 99% sure he was a human in a past life. He's smarter than he lets on. He didn't even flinch. Every other cat in my office came running out and he just sat on the desk like, no, I know he's gonna come back. He's streaming right now. I'm not stupid. <clears throat> you know, my favorite Thanksgiving was uh, Drinksgiving, which is where, um, uh, this was back when I was in the military, or I guess I'd, I had just gotten, I had just gotten out at that point. Um, but a bunch of, uh, of friends, we essentially challenged each other to cook everything that you would typically cook for Thanksgiving but with alcohol, somehow in the uh, the recipe or the requirements or something like that. So needless to say, it was the most plastered I think anybody could ever get for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Drinks giving can be celebrated year round. <laughs> but, but yeah, every single item of food had some kind of alcohol involved in it. What branch was I? I was, I was in the army. Uh, most of the people that I uh, associated with were in the the navy. Here, yeah, birdie, birdie, birdie. If the dogs sit on Thanksgiving, so I'll be alone but I'll be getting paid all year. I definitely had someone pass on the floor every Thanksgiving. Nice. We did too. And his name was Jesse. Jesse used to like to put soju um, mixed in with uh, with regular beer because it's, you know, it's a flavorless kind of like rice liquor. Um, so that poor soul would get absolutely plastered and wind up like passed out crying on the floor pretty much every time we did anything. What kind of turkey did, uh, uh, so we did like a bourbon glazed turkey, but also with like a bourbon infused uh, Cajun injection. <laughs> Soju and beer is properly mixed in Korea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's where I got the idea from. Yeah, birdie, 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 birdie. Oh, shoot. I think we lost it this time. I flew too close to the sun. It's only the four of us, but my boyfriend says we make a turkey and enough food to feed a small army. Look, you got leftovers. All right, maybe we just need to land. Oh, nope, nope. AI. AI freaking saving the day once it... That bird. Sky, what did you do to this bird? This bird is angry. It started attacking this poor pteranodon out of nowhere while we were flying back. Oh, we got a boat! Hello, boat person. 
Can we get a taxi to, uh, to, oh, look at that. No, we, we won't, we won't harass that person. You tamed a level 130 female beaver if you want to breed. <sighs> Last year's Thanksgiving got turned into hot pockets at my house. What? Got a lucky, lucky man in your life. Oh, those avalanche, nice. Thanksgiving hot pockets, that sounds really good. Is it already on PS5? Nope. We would have given you a taxi ride, <laughs> Rose. I appreciate it. The Dodo Mafia. Y'all better have like a pretty thick Dodo army, by the way. I will be forever disappointed if you don't. That being said, um, Rose, is there still the dino glitch where they disappear from on the raft? Ooh, some pumpkin flan. We haven't experienced that. Ooh, nice, Rose. Painter Gamer. Watch you later, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Oh, hell yeah, Mako. Usually I have a full house for Thanksgiving, but all the military friends are overseas at the moment. Oh, yeah. I'm putting myself into a solo turkey coma. Hell <laughs> yeah. Turned down for what? So we need this one to land. I know it's kind of trying to land in the right spot, too. Come on. That's going to be so nice. Holy Christ on a muffin stamp. What are you doing, ma'am? Stamp's already making the freaking... Look at this. She even made him kiss. Oh my god, Stamp. All right, so this this is a what? This is a male. And the one we stole from Sky is a female. Look how things work out in life. Sometimes life just do really great life things. So let's snatch up this. We're going to we're going to add this to the RG gangbang. And uh, everything's going to be great. Look at this bird strand. Like, look at my pretty purple bootay. My t my character's passed out on my island. Sounds like a personal problem. Why are you out getting drunk on my island like this? Look, this is not America. You cannot sue me for getting drunk and passing out on my property, okay? This is Ark Survival Evolved. But if I make it into a Hot Pocket sort of meal, it's always a win. <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. They were like the best pot pies, but microwave friendly. See, that's a great idea. That's an amazing idea. Oh, my mouse is gone, question mark? What the heck? All right, looks like the, the test server is up. All right, so we can go check out Svartalheim, maybe, if we want. Do we want to check out... Thumbs up in chat if we want to check out Svartalheim together. <gasps> oh, we got some purple wingtips out here. What the heck and what? Who this is? Who's bringing all these sexy birds to our island? You accidentally ate some narco berries? All right, Minnie, where are you? Oh, that's you. Oh, and you brought the sexy bird. 
Oh, and it's it's Rose. If you like dwarves. All right, that mutation will look pretty freaking fire on this bird. We were supposed to be banging Thylas today. I don't know what's happened, all right? We need to get the Thyla red light district up and going. We need to do that now. All right, y'all want to check out Svartalheim? We'll check out Svartalheim. Let me... Let me get the Thyla brown chicken brown house up and going, and then we will... We will transfer over to the new server. I'm hungry. We need food. Can Thalos bang on the... Oh, yeah. Y'all haven't seen my... So, one of my best videos when I started playing Ark was my Thyla sex hut. <laughs> I need to come up with better ways to say these things because this is definitely not going to be a well monetized video at this rate. Um, yeah, one of my best videos when I first started YouTube was was how to build a proper Thyla um, dance with no pants hut. There's actually a couple little tricks that you can use. What is Stamp doing? Is Stamp breeding birds right Stamp's breeding birds right now. A mating hut. Yeah, there we go. The old Thyla mating hut. We're gonna make one of those right now. Doesn't need to be super big, because we're only gonna do a couple of them. <laughs> Pun intended. And then uh, can we get that in there? Maybe no. The Thyla Boom Boom Room, yes, the old Thyla Boom Boom Room. Oh, did we get an egg? Stamp stole it. Klepto freaking egg thief, Stamp! What you doing? Put some clothes on, ma'am. You mean the tree kitty crib. There we go. Perfect. The Thyla Funky Town Room. Nailed it. Just making sure they don't die. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so let's do... We need... This... Piece... God dang it, Bobby. The Thyla brothel? Look, nobody's paying for nothing here. This is just... This is just the, the happy place for Thylas to do happy things. The Thyla love hotel. What is wrong with all of you? The love hotel. this oh Timothy we will be breeding frogs I've already started the water base for that the shag shack that kind of has like a, a, a flow to it mm -hmm. all right so we need a couple different things we need one we need this to be taller I think we need three high if memory serves. It's been a hot minute since I built one of these. I think three high will do it. Well, actually, well, eh, yeah. Well, these walls don't need to be very high. Technically, neither did those. We're gonna leave them three high anyways. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer them to these. Uh. 
This is the only part that needs to be three high. Tech. Just to make our lives a little bit easier. Tear. The pain in the tuchus. Tech has corrupted the entire community at this point. Y'all were already corrupted before you met me. Let's be honest. Cheer. Bro. Ugh. Oh god, she already brought them here. Alright, so we got three females and one... We got four females and one male. Now, if memory serves... God dang it, Bobby. Um, what we should be able to do is one male in the center and two females on the side. And should be able to get them all going at the same time. You want some tier merch? <laughs> I was in the Navy, so kind of standard. We're all corrupted. That's fair. <laughs> that is very true. All right, so we're going to go with the female here. The raft thing may not be a glitch. Invisible world borders that instead elite dinos were touched. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know. That, that was happening literally everywhere, so... Oh shoot, the RG babies. Did they did they become a thing? Stamps teasing us right now. Alright, let's get these get these thylas going. Start off with one of the females. So the goal here is to latch onto a wall. Oh, did they change how they wall latch? <gasps> no, no, no. Oh! Okay, I know what I need to do. We need ceilings. frames. Excuse me. Boop. Is that a poo poo drop? It's a poo poo drop. Interesting. They definitely made it harder. Hmm. Okay. Right, we're gonna have to change up the bit the, the build design a little. Whoa, hello lag. Save game. Let's try this. It might need to be four high now too. I feel like they might have made Thylas a little bit larger, but maybe not. I just feel like they're they're bigger than they used to be. Which would change exactly the size that we need for this too. 
Oop. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ooh, they're glitchier than they used to be. All right, this will be an interesting experiment. That's not where you're supposed to live, ma'am. Oh, don't do me like this. You really just want to be right there, don't you? All right. That's not that's not how I would prefer it. Right. Once you get them set up, you really don't have to set them up again. So let's try and get this a little bit closer to the edge. God. <sighs> the females will drop if you leave the base area, yeah. Well, any of them will drop if you leave the uh, the base area. Someone downside of it, but if you plan on staying around there we go. That's where you need to be. Why is it doing that? They never used to do this. Huh. It's very odd. Okay, let's see if, what happens if we try and stick one in between. Dinos render before structures, so yeah, off they fall. But the question is, do they still do that in Ascended? Okay, that's how it's supposed to work. All right, so let's put the mail in first. Which will glitch it to the side, and then we'll put the females in, and everything should work great. Y'all need to stop watching, like, TikTok and YouTube and stuff. Nobody knows when consoles are releasing until it's actually freaking announced from the developers. Please, for the love of God, don't listen to anything but an official announcement from Wildcard. Because you're going to get angry for no freaking reason. Xbox is November 14th. Highly unlikely. I wouldn't bet a dollar on it. You thought they did announce it? That's not going to come out. It's going to come out on the 15th at the very least. What the heck? This is so much buggier than it used to be. In PlayStation, we have no idea when. That sounds about right. We need ramps now. Oh. 
Akari is releasing tomorrow. Oh yeah. Alright, I think we're gonna settle for this many for right now. I know of a way that we could adjust this and make it work a little bit better, but honestly, I just... I don't care. Enough to try and change anything right now. I'll do a full-blown breeding or a thyla breeding pen at some point, but... They are a lot buggier than they used to be. so much shorter than roofs. In what world? Like, why? So we're gonna run into some problems here I can already see. Did she turn them all off? Yep. Go. Can you still reach? Oh, man. We got a chode thyla. That's unfortunate. All right, so the breeding distance is also slightly reduced. God dang it. And they're just constantly moving, which is even weirder. Super strange. Okay. And and then we have another problem where the ugh, This is a nightmare right now. This isn't gonna work. Alright, we know a, I know a better way to do this. I don't even care. God dang thylas. Um alright, let's do this smarter. This is just not gonna this is not gonna work out anymore. And we don't need to anymore in retrospect. I completely forgot, like, one very, very important detail. <laughs> that the game is, um, we don't have wandering anymore. Since we don't have wandering anymore, we don't need to latch them onto the walls. Literally building this whole pen on the premise that they still have to wander to mate, and they don't. Which I kind of miss. Yeah, it was frustrating. It was kind of fun building the uh, the houses for it. Oh, what the heckin'. Alright, so we should just be able to do this. I mean, you can still enable creatures to wander, but there's no reason to anymore. There we go. Now the babies will poop right out onto the little ramp. Everything's going to be great. 
I don't know if we can actually get them close enough to mate uh, two by anymore. We're gonna try it. I wonder if they did reduce like the breeding radius. The tails are still gonna be a bit of a problem. Their tails used to be so buggy. They did. So they reduced the breeding radius. Unless... Oops. You used to be able to do two, a male, and then two. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. All right, so we still need to get that uh, that magenta head RG for for Sky. So we'll just put this one right here. Did they fix the? The baby's getting stuck in the butts. I don't think they did. Put him in here, but it's not going to work. There's no settings that will change the breeding range. There may be a mod at some point, but... Yeah, they really did reduce it quite substantially, actually. We couldn't put a male just above, but I still think that's going to be out of range. We'll test it in a little bit. All right. Stamp is hatching all the things for the birds. I haven't seen any bird eggs yet. Is she doing it right now? I don't know which egg this one is. Oh, so we got perp head. So this is the one that we've been trying to breed with Sky's one. All right, I'll be right back. Getting errors when trying to log in. Really? Uh, what's what's the error, Jatina? You're unsupertized. Un unsupertized. Only for a moment. Ooh, we got another egg coming. Very nice. And we still got a buttload of RG eggs up here. I also still want to try and tame a Sarko today. We did get that nice Sarko saddle. Let's see here, RG. God, so many eggs. Same thing with the harvest settings, they keep reverting. I wonder if the server needs to be updated. That would be a big bummer. Samantha, how are you? All right. Let's get these hatched. Hopefully we can actually see this egg this time. Nothing! What the heck and what? I mean, they are level 262. Which 
which means they do have better stats. But they don't have them sweet, sweet colors we were looking for. It's been so bad. I know, super unlucky. Alright. So Stamp's egg should hatch before everybody else's. Oh no, I did the freaking thing. Ugh. Reaching a high level quicker. Oh yeah. I think Stamp just picked up another one of these. Alright, let's check out the gestation on our... You're just now getting 262s? Ooh. We probably just got all the best stats from the from the one that you gave us. Whoa, we got twins with a mutation on them. Because they're too they're too Whoa my god. Where did you come from? There's a mutation on these. I don't know what it is though. Blinded by the light. Maybe if it freaking work. My God. God dang it. Fat, dumb fingers. <gasps> Is it a purple back? <gasps> it's a purple back. We got a purple back. And we got triplets of it. So that's a male. If we get a male and a female, that would be fire. And we got two males. Useless. Absolutely useless. We got a 210, but we got a purple back. Hell yeah, as our first mutation. Literally first babies we've seen squirt out. All right, so we need to unclaim one of these. Unless Sky wants one. We'll murder it. Ooh. You want Thyla? Uh, all right. All right. Well, we, uh, I'll claim it and I'll, I'll bring it to you in a little bit unless you want to come pick it up with an RG. We'll claim it. We'll move it over here. Boop, 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 -a -doop. You put the mail in front? That could work. Excuse me, little baby. We've got pretty decent Thyla stats right now, too. I know, I think Sky had some pretty decent stats as well. Right now we're at 5,460 health, 1720 stamina, weight 728, and melee damage 300. I think the melee damage is what we need a little bit of work on. You can come grab one if that's okay. Of course, of course. <gasps> oh, and we got your uh we got the purple head for you on a 248. Thank you for sparing your first mutation. Of course. All right, so there we go. Now we have paid Sky back for the uh for the RG Oh my god. Yeah, pathfinding makes it's so good. You've got some 420... Bucket of nugs! You hold out on some 412 base melee damage? That's with no levels or anything? Really? After imprint. Oh, yeah, no, that's useless. That doesn't count. That's pretty low. Well, I don't know if that's low, but it's not... Uh, imprint stats don't transfer when you're breeding. All right, so we got two dinos for Sky now. Need to murder that baby. They're breeding again, so we're good. All right, things are going well now. Where'd your saddle go? You don't recommend getting pick oh yeah picking up the babies yeah it's just RGs that seem to glitch it all right stamp can we do a big hatching here for a second 
Those should hatch before ours. So if we do a little bit of this, we're going to hatch what looks to be maybe 60 eggs. What's the damage on my thylas? Uh, I don't know. The natural unimprinted melee damage is 300 at the moment. Breeding RGs with 5k base health. Almost six, wait, almost 600 base melee damage without any imprinting whatsoever. How many melee damage mutations is that? That'd be insane. need a pokeball device yeah they're all kind of bugged at the moment all right so this one has got food it's eating the parent have 572 melee so it's before imprint god dang momo how have you been Jesse Mika, thank you for the 24 months. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing on our... Oh my god, why are they floating so high? God, we need to we need to get some drops. I'm so sick of being super duper naked. There's a green drop over there. Let's go pick it up. Maybe we can get there quick. Oh lord. What's happening? Things are happening. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so these are stamps babies right there. Oh, we got the, the purple chest transferred over on a 262. Oh, we got a 254 in here. Uh, 254 is a light, like a light blue head mutation. I don't think we're going to keep it. It's pretty, but it's not going to go. We already got the magenta, which we're going to use. All right, we got another mutation here. It might be a stat. Claim it just because I don't know what it is. Got more 252s. Doesn't look to be any mutations in there. Man, I just had a freaking heart attack. I heard the door behind me in my office open for no reason. I'm the only one in this house. <laughs> it's just a cat. We got another mutation in here. Looks like we got like a golden wing mutation. That's actually kind of nice. I don't know if we'll use it. Should we save it? Save it. You wanna get on arc? Do it! So glad to catch you live. I'm trying to join the Discord with no luck. Do I need to upgrade to a super bean? I will, don't tempt me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. That is, uh, that is, that is most likely what it is. Um, the members Discord link is also in the description. That'll get you access to all the arc server stuff, Jesse. And thank you so much for the 24 months. If you have any other trouble, feel free to message me on Discord. Um, we'll try and get you sorted out.
Why don't you give away the ones you don't want to keep? Um, we have been doing that. Ooh, we just got another. Ooh, we got a. We just got another mutation right over here. It's a blue, a dark blue wingtip mutation. Uh, Jesse Mika, thank you so much. Thank you for upgrading to a super bean. Right, we got 252s. We got freaking Jesus birds again. Stamp, are you not wanting to save any of these? I'm going to save this 262 because that one has all the best stats on it. Just in case. And we got all the mutate. Oh, there's a 254 over there. I saw it. I saw it just as I turned. There it is right there. It's a... Oh, what is it? Most likely a stat mutation. I was just trying to get the two darn colors together. Well, the purple one for you to check out of, if interested in the color. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right, where'd our new Order 66 go? We need to make, like, a blood red saddle for this thing. Look at all the resources we just got. Holy Christ. Stamp, we want to cook up some of that, that meat. Might not be the worst idea. For food. Let me do that. I'll set up a little cooking area for a thousand prime meat. I kind of want to go into the, the Redwoods and see if we can get another max level Thyla somewhere. What are my breeding rates? They are so... We are playing on our community server. All of our servers are going to have accelerated rates, so... Um, but the breeding rates are extremely accelerated, so you can breed... Like, one of, it's one of my favorite things to do in ARC. Is to try and breed for stats and color mutations and things like that. Um, so breeding rates, I think it's like 100x or something like that. It's insane. Can I cook food in one of these? I've never tried to just cook meat in one. No, we need like a grill. That's for like making like stews and stuff. <laughs> Stone and flint. Just cook up some of this prime meat. Oh, Lord. Gotta love that saving lag. Oh, the bread. Thank you for the gift membership. And Alexa, welcome back to the community. We need a snazzy industrial girl. Yeah. One of these days we'll do it. Let's check on our thylas. Doesn't look like we got any mutations. We got a 210 and a 210. The grill's always gonna be the best one, yeah.
Is, he, ooh, is that a fertilized one or a regular egg? Nice. All right, we're still trying to transfer over this magenta. I don't even know if that's magenta. This purple head over to this one. It might be a little too purple. We'll see. Oh, you can cook in the regular fireplaces now? That's nice. Alright, I'm assuming Stamp just brought out all of the little birds. I think I'll do another sacrificial tower. I Actually, I've been debating and building another one for a little bit. <laughs> um... I might do it. I might I might start actually relatively soon on that. So what's the stats on here? We've got 5,723 health, 1240 stamina, 752 weight, and 402% melee damage. Got 402. So it's the health that's significantly boosted on these. Nice. That's sweet. Do it. You want me to make a, uh, a sacrificial tower? We can do it. I'd like to go get some... Oh, there's a blue drop over there. Right, let's go get the blue drop. I'm going to find a pteranodon. We need clothes. For those of you tuning in, we, we died and lost all of our gear. So things are a little bit of a nightmare right now. Still working on RG and... RG and Thyla mutations at the moment. Doing a little bit of both at the same time. Oh, that's fun. I still got the blue drop over. Is there a yellow? There's another something over there. Just need some better clothes. I'm tired of being naked. Tag is famous for Pego sacrifice pits. <laughs> We're probably gonna make another Pego pit, honestly. I'd like to start breeding Pegos and then do another like Pego sacrificial pit. Oh no, Sky was just at the base. Oh my god, Sky was just there and I left. Sky! Sky, I'm sorry! Were you here? Oh no. I'm so bad at reading the in-game chat, I kind of tune it out now, accidentally. I didn't see her actually get here. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> Hello. And we'll do the the old fashioned salute. Why not craft your gear? Because I want I want higher quality gear. <laughs> also, for those of you that don't know, uh, Arena Sky also streams on Twitch, so. You can follow her there as well. I believe she streams on the weekends. Then we got Stampeding Turtle, who also streams. Link is in the description. And uh, and Freaky also stream. I don't know if Freaky's streaming today. We got... Ugh, I just want gear. A Carno saddle and an Anki saddle. Let's run and try and pick up that blue drop before it's gone, and we'll come back. We've got our water base that we're working on right there. It's looking, it's looking nice. We got to put a roof on it and start actually building it out and making it fancy. 
I am new here. What do I need to know? Uh, this is uh, all the things. Stuff happens here. We we play Ark and as well as <laughs> many other games, and we are playing on our community server, which you can join and play along with if you become a super bean or higher. Tag, did you want to breed my Argies with yours to get the pink wingtips? Uh, Mini, yes, I would love to do that. Um, let me see if I can separate a an RG for you. Um, Mini, is your RG a male or a female? I'll have to find an RG to uh, to breed with to be able to try and get that mutation. Oh, hello, Dillos. Oh my lord. We're not having good luck with drops today, I'll tell you what. Have I finished Spider-Man 2 yet? Not yet. We're gonna stream some Spider-Man 2 tomorrow. That's a female. Alright, we'll drag a male down. There's a yellow drop. Oh, somebody got the yellow drop. Yeah. Have you left Daylight Savings Time yet? No, Daylight Savings Time happened last night. I woke up and I was like, all my clocks say it's a lot later. <laughs> um, no, so there was, there was Daylight Savings Time apparently last night. Freaky schedule stream 23.30, so that's 5.30? Okay, man. She told me she's gonna stream tonight. I don't know if Sky is streaming tonight. Probably has PTSD from every time trying to stream the server goes down, which I feel so freaking bad about. Ugh. Life is a nightmare. Sky, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, I know I'm making a joke about it, but I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. I literally, I, I got done streaming. I was going to take a nap. I left the house and then the server explodes. I'm just not allowed to leave home. I'm just going to be a freaking hermit. I will never leave the house again. And I, I will just sit here and wait and fix the server when anybody streams. I hate it. I, I sent a heated email to uh, Natredo today, actually, because like, it's honestly getting ridiculous. Especially when you have people that are trying to, like, stream and, like, actually make content on the server and stuff. It's, it makes me so mad. Alright, so we need to get... Oh, we got all sorts of purple things going on here. So, oh my god. This is... Okay, so this is Anxious Owls. Okay, that's a male. That's Mythka's purple wingtips. Alright, so let me get a... Let me get a male. I need a... Oh, I need a saddle. Alright, who's got a saddle for me? Steal this one for the saddle. My god, life is freaking crazy right now. Right, male should be in the middle, right? I took a screenshot. Alright, so let's bring this down. This is going to be our base stats. This is going to be the best thing to breed with. So we will squirt this over to Mythka's. Mythka, if you could turn yours on for breeding. It's such a weird sentence to say. <laughs> I hate everything. And then uh, I will bring a female down for the other one. And then if we do that, look, you want some food? We'll make it like like a nice little dinner date. What is Sky's Twitch? It is Arena Sky on Twitch for anybody that wants to support her. Especially because she has been carry straight carrying us. I don't know how she's gotten so lucky with all of the high level dinos 
Uh, but yes, if you want to check out Arena Sky's Twitch, um, it is the exact same thing as in uh, as in YouTube. Arena Sky over on... I forgot the saddle, didn't I? I am a fool. I did a research paper and I did research on the wrong thing. Look, you should still get credit for that, okay? If you're doing research for something and you did it well, does it really matter what you researched? Stamp died. <gasps> There's black paint on already. This is perfect. Perfectly executed. <laughs> now you can't stream. <laughs> now what are you going to do? Tag don't run. I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing happened. I did nothing. I'm completely innocent. You didn't even... There's no evidence whatsoever that I did. <gasps> Wait, why does this bird have all my stuff? What? Give me my stuff back, you dirty little bird. Who are you? Who hurt you? It's Coco. Coco's got my... <gasps> the server just crashed. Sky, I'm sorry. I swear to God, Sky, did you just go live? Is this what happened? Is this your fault right now? It's your fault. I'm blame... I blame Sky. It's not my fault. All right, let me check. My God. It was the giant phallic object that I painted on Stamps back. She crashed the server is what she did. <sighs> Kill me in the face. Had 81 people on when that happened. Didn't even save beforehand. The server... <laughs> Sky, did you just go live? How hilarious. Like, it would be so unfortunate, but it would be <laughs> absolutely on par with the way life has been going the past couple of days. Alright, the server is shutting down. Yeah, no shit, Natredo. It was using... It was using 70 gigs of RAM. I'm 90% sure Natredo is purposely shutting down servers. There's... I'm, I'm assuming there's a memory leak, and what Natredo has done to save money is put, like, a limit... I'm 90% I'm sure this is what's happening, because I've noticed over the past three days that the server has crashed when it hits 65 gigs or higher, and they've put a hard limit on it to shut down the server no matter what when that happens. But at least save the fucking game first, Natredo! <sighs> Anyways, okay, I'm not going to vent anymore. I swore. I'm sorry, children out there, but sometimes there's only certain words that can dictate or express a certain feeling and uh and sometimes that's just the way life is oh <laughs> i left the volcano before i left your face guess where you're gonna be when you log back in inside of the volcano dead It's it's so frustrating. I'm so sorry, everybody. Anyways, I hope everybody's day is going well. I turned face cam on right now, but I haven't hooked up any of the cameras or anything yet. So, I mean, plus this background's a lot prettier than than that. So we'll just we'll just deal with that. Oh, you know what? We'll check Svartelheim while we're waiting for the server to come back. What the hell is this? Oh, I gotta download the mods. Show us cat. I oh, know I don't have face cam on. Plus all the cats. Oh, there's three cats in here. There's two at my feet and one in the cat bed. Man, my beautiful painting for stamp is going to be gone now. Hmm. Let's 
server should be coming back up. We'll check out the Svartalheim map now, though, at least, which will be nice. Because that may very well be the map that we add possibly tonight, which means that would be two servers I got to babysit all day. I will literally never be able to leave the house ever again. Am I back in the office? Yeah. There should be no more, like, echo. Better internet connection. Which is very nice. Right now I'm checking to see. So this is what I have to go through when I, uh, when I have to fix the servers. I have to go through this. And basically whenever the servers, like, crash, crash, I have to look for files that are corrupted. Um, so you can see how many people we have playing on the game because these are all the profiles. But what happens is these tribe files here break. So if anybody's running servers out there, like this one is slowly breaking right now. So this is going to be one that I'm going to flag in my little tracking file. You can see that the arc tribe and the tribe back starts going out of sync. This one is two. Um, this one is, so this is going to break the server probably tonight at some point. Uh, this one's going to break probably tomorrow. This one's going to break tonight. And do we have any big, 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 big ones? Nope. Okay. And we should be good for a little bit. <clears throat> Still waiting for the server to restart. <laughs> This is the new arc, yeah. So I shouldn't lock in tonight. <laughs> um, I might try and fix those now, though. I can, I, sh I should be able to fix them now and prevent it from breaking. To nope, that won't work. It's crazy. Is it really going to go? It's not going to go through the reboot loop, right? Or stop. Trying to get the server back up. Frosta, is this game called Arc 2 or is it called Arc Survival Ascended? I feel like that pretty much answers your question for you. I got to fix no tribes allowed. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that would technically fix it. If I compl but I can't do that now. I'm going to do that for the next server until tribe data is fixed. The next server that I host, there will be no tribes allowed. And I think that should fix it. I don't know. Does anybody know if there's actually a server setting that you can use for no tribes? Francisco, thank you for coming to Majestic Bean. Thank you. Is it true Nitrado has a monopoly on server space? Yeah. Nitrado signed an agreement with Snail Games, the owner of Nitrate, of, uh, of Wildcard, and um, they decided in their infinite wisdom that it would be great if only one server provider, the worst server, <laughs> the worst server provider, I actually, I can't say that. I don't know if it's the worst, but it's it's next to the worst. They have zero actual backend control for like when servers restart, when they crash, when they save, anything like that. They're basically living in the Stone Ages, and they were like, "We're gonna get this monopoly because we're so cool. It's gonna be great." And uh, that's why we keep having horrible rollbacks, no saves before crashes. It's uh, pretty terrible. Tribes don't cause lag. There's a glitch that's... There's a glitch since day one currently in the game where tribe data gets corrupted and eventually causes the server to be an infinite boot loop. And there's no way to fix it. There is max number of players in tribe one, which limits tribes to one person. Yeah, but that still makes a tribe. So a player can still make a tribe that way, which won't fix the problem. 
Love your streams and love you. Keep the content rolling, brother. Thank you, One Leg. I appreciate you. I'm hoping the server is going to be booting here in a second. Is the alliance same as... Yeah, because you need a tribe to make an alliance. Are you aware you no longer need a Trado server? You can host your own... You can use your own hardware. Yeah, but I live in East Bumblefrick, Georgia where internet is garbage and we'd probably have more time more downtime using like I definitely could host a lot of servers on the computers that I have here but I just don't have the internet to support it or the stability like we have brownouts in Georgia all the time like literally just your power just shuts off for no freaking reason internet here is garbage it's it's <laughs> It's like living in a third, like most third world countries have better power management and internet capabilities than Georgia. So I think it's because people are here are like mouth breathing on everything. I don't know. It's pretty terrible. I need to move back to Texas. Although electricity in Texas is also bad, but at least the internet is stable there. All right, I think the server is coming back up now. Still waiting on the download of the mods for this one. I've been away a while. I thought you were still in Texas. Haha, <laughs> Momo, no. We moved from Texas about a year and a half ago. And uh, as a Texan, that is a debatable. Yeah, yeah, power is pretty bad. When I was living in San Antonio... We would get brownouts all the time. Chris Carter, Starlink is garbage. It's good if you can't get any other internet, but if you can get a, like a hardline internet, it's, it's abysmal. I have Starlink, so I can actually say that for certain. Um, please let me know if the server is back up for anybody in the Discord. Love you a long time. Mark chat should be back up any second now. Is it back up, question mark? How long have we been streaming? What time is it? It feels late. Oh, we've only been streaming two hours. Hmm. Oh, wait, did I do a dumb? So that's good. What's going on here? 60. Oh, no. Dutters, how have you been? Long time no see. Have you heard anything about Survival of the Fittest? You mean, Survival of the Fittest came out a long time ago. Okay, so this... Christ. Yeah, the server's doing the boot loop thing again. <clears throat> it's taking so long to download one mod. What a nightmare. Okay. Um, sorry, trying to figure out what we should do here. only three gigs <laughs> yeah, welcome to georgia internet um let's see i didn't see one that was like super duper bugged
Can you log into the new map server? I would if it was done downloading, but it's taking forever. That's what we currently have on stream at the moment. I don't know why it's taking so long. It's probably Steam throttling. I mean, I have one gig download, but... <clears throat> have any tips to run crashing of the game? Use uh, windowed mode, or windowed full screen mode instead of full screen. Uh, Rude Zia, how are you? What time are people? Hopefully, Stamp wasn't streaming because now we're just stuck here. The potato times. <laughs> All right, we are going to check Svartalheim here in a second. I'm just waiting to see if the server is going to... What is going on? This is just absolutely ridiculous. The problem... So the great thing about Nitrado 2 is like... When it goes into this boot loop, you can't do anything. So literally every other service provider that I've ever used in the last eight years, other than Netrado, gives you an option to input a command to forcefully shut down your server. With Netrado and their infinite wisdom, you have to sit here with your thumb up your ass and wait. But if, it, but if you wait too long and nothing happens, then it's going to try and boot itself again. And then you have no choice but to wait another 20 minutes with your thumb up your ass waiting to be able to force stop it. Like their thing is like, oh, just refresh it and, and wait for it to give you the, the force stop option. Which is like, I, I feel like this, this service provider is like hosted by children that don't know what they're doing. It is honestly the most frustrating thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Like every other service provider I ever had, if you can't like get the server to stop, you can input a command and you can force stop it. Like, if you're hosting it on hardware, then you can, like, do a command to, you know, shut the hardware down and, and restart it and then be able to get your server back up. Not with Nitrado. So we just have to sit here and hope and pray that we can catch it in between its restarts to be able to force... There it is. There we go. You got to get lucky to get this to pop up, though. It's freaking insane. So now I can actually force stop the server... And then maybe try and fix it. But if I don't fix it in between this four stop, then I have to do that whole process again. So it literally takes like five hours sometimes just to get the server working again. <laughs> it is absurd. So this is this has been my life. Um, the trader is only popular because it's so bad. No, it's the, it's literally the only option that we have. That's the bad part. We have no other options. So essentially, like, if I don't fix it on my next attempt, then I have to wait like 10 minutes for it to start. And then I have to wait for it to give me the option to force shut it down for me to be able to fix it. So that's that's the life that I've been living with this shitty service provider. That's why the official servers are always down, because they're using the, the Trado's interface. Yeah, it's hot garbage. Like, eight years worth of working on servers, I've never experienced anything nearly this bad. Oh, look, cause now I'm stuck. Now I'm stuck waiting for it to shut down again. Even though I clicked the force shutdown button, now I get to wait another 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? We can log into the other thing, though. We can check out the, uh, the new map while we're waiting for that. Why on earth Snail Games chose to partner with Nitrado? Um, because Snail Games keeps funding really garbage ARC clones that are incredibly unsuccessful and um, and do really, really terrible. Am 
Am I not even on the map? Are you the one I've been waiting for? I will murder your face. Um, because Snail Games basically went broke, so did Wildcard. And they decided to partner with Natredo for like $4 million or something like that to be able to make Ark Ascended and probably Ark 2. So they signed an exclusivity agreement so Natredo could make uh, money hand over foot with an exclusivity server agreement. And that has thus caused the problems that we are in right now. And I just waited all this time to not be on the server that I actually wanted to be. Or <laughs> on the map that I wanted to be on. Fantastic. <clears throat> you blinked and tag was tiny. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Well, we're trying to we're trying to get it working. We'll see how it goes. Base. Now I got to shut down the other server. Let's see if we can get on the actual map. Please tell me they got more than four million. No, uh, they got four million dollars to give Natredo an exclusivity agreement, and the contracts for the next seven years. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. Is there a new dino that I want to tame? I want to new the I want to tame the the char car. Is that what it's called? Dottie, thank you for the forty three months. Thank you so freaking much. Are we using mods anytime soon? No, because mods are one thousand percent broken. If you add a mod to a hosted server, it completely breaks the server. Welcome to Natredo, where we force stop a server, but guess what? It doesn't stop. And then we spend the next 20 minutes hoping for the next force shutdown of the server. I'm currently paying Natredo $500 a month for servers that don't work. $600 a month for servers that don't work. The char car is a passive tame. Oh my god. How do you passive tame a carvor? What up playing with the INI so we get higher level dinos? Not yet. 150 is not bad. We will host servers with higher level dinos in the future though. Mm -hmm. See, this one, this is the server that we're doing the new map stuff on, but still, still doesn't work. God, I trade it. It's such a garbage freaking company. You said it's actually very easy to tame. Ooh. All right, so I think the map not switching over was my fault. Map name, we need to switch that to... Okay. Does anybody know how to switch the map on... on the Trado? Oh. Oh, I deleted it. Okay, that's cool. So Because unlike literally, what, three of the other service providers that I've used in the past, it's not intuitive. I think I have to put the active name in there instead. General. Does anybody know how to do this, actually? So if we go down here, we have map name but it doesn't give us the option to choose. Please note that it currently is not possible to select maps added via CurseForge mods. Our team is working on a solution for this. Awesome. The Trado is so good. You know, if we were using G Portal right now, we'd be able to do this without a problem. So, never mind about using the freaking modded map. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, 
Oh my god, the server finally stopped. It's a Christmas freaking miracle. Can we manually add the map somehow? Nope. All right. Uh, let's see here. I will. Let's check out Zvartelheim. We'll have to host a single player server while we're waiting for everything else to fix itself. Um, I am going to do a couple things. This is the new server. So I'm trying to, trying to do a lot at the moment. Three. Reinstall, reinstall. So essentially to fix the, the bug that we're currently experiencing, you have to reinstall your entire server. <laughs> <laughs> I used to host with Netredo, and then I started self-hosting and never looked back. Like, honestly, if there was somebody out there with good internet and a good computer, like, don't get me wrong. Like, there is a major problem with Arc Ascended servers right now. Like... You need 65 gigs, which means you, you can't even get that much RAM in a typical computer unless you have, like, an enterprise level. Or you can get about, if you're running DDR, like, the new DDR, then you can do, like, 120 gigs, which I have here, but I just don't have the internet for it. Um, but even hosting your own, it's, it's, not, it's not conducive to it at the moment for most people. <clears throat> All right, so we are going to I'm gonna try and start the server. Hope that it works. We'll check out Svartalheim because y'all voted to check out Svartalheim, so let's do that. Go back. We'll do a single player. And um, we'll check it out. Kimber J, I'm sorry you have to deal with such frustrating circumstances. Thank you for creating such a wonderful community. Well, to do much appreciate. Thank you, Kimber. Thank you very, very much. And I am truly, truly sorry to anybody out there experiencing, you know, problems with the servers and stuff. Like I spend, I spend more of my day every single day working on the server than I do literally anything else at the moment. Um, so truly, if if it was within my power, I would make sure that never happened. But I really, I really don't have much of a choice at the moment. But thank you to everybody's patience and everything dealing with these server problems. Ooh, Svartalheim looks nice. Mm -hmm. So the safe area is near like a... Interesting, we've got bridges everywhere, little paths. We've got some weird looking lava, which is cool. How big is the map? Doesn't look like it's that big. All right, let's unlock the entire map before we go explore. What the friggity frackity frick is this? It's a... <laughs> All right, the map is very small. It's not done yet. Are you serious right now? It's a nice little building area. All right, where... Let's, let's find the the edges of the map real quick. Oh, it is a very small map. Okay. Looks like there's much better building areas. Oh my god, it's very small. What the heck is that? Oh my god. Alright, this is very... What? Oh my god. Is it like Fjorder on Junior? Yeah, I assume so. Sorry, just trying to find the edges of this of this map right now. All right, so it is about the size of the Redwoods biome right now. It is not a very big map. This explains why there's no flyers on it. No, we can't use this. This, this is going to be a freaking nightmare to get a couple hundred people on. Uh, we have a large water area, which is not super useful. three gigs for this map it's <laughs> it's a lot of gigs for a small map 
It does look like there's a lot of building area in here. Like, it's pretty, don't get me wrong. We got a nice water area. The fog is a little weird. It doesn't quite render where it should. Which is really strange. Is that a setting? Could be good for some smaller events. Yeah. I'm making you download three gigs worth of data for... What's with the weird bubble of fog, though? I feel like it's going to take a little while for people to get used to Unreal Engine 5. In the way that they render um, volumetric information. It's pretty, though. Like, Fjordr was amazing. Fjordr is probably one of my favorite modded maps. I feel like Svartalheim needs a lot of work. Like, it's super weird having your fog. Somebody went ham with volumetric cloud density with the modded stuff, but then it's, it's super weird with the player stuff. The lava looks like burnt cheese, and I love it. All right, let me see if the server's back up yet. No, no, it's not. All right, so we got to solve that problem. Oh, Christ. Ran around so, on so, and it seems like it's still using old assets. Yeah, I mean, you just upgrade them to Unreal Engine 5. All right, well... <sighs> It's going to take me probably about an hour to fix the server. Um, I'm already working on the fixes. So what we're going to... Nah, I mean, how many... If y'all don't mind hanging out, like, I'll fix it and we'll get back on. And we can continue. I've got the... Basically what I do is I have multiple servers and I wipe one and then I install the game on a new one. And then that allows us to get the server back up. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Now, we can explore the new map more. Like, I, I want to actually get into, like, the nitty-gritty of it. And actually see what's going on. I just have to wait once again for freaking Nitrado's boot loop. Oh, my God! Hmm. Do I wait, is the question. Is the server actually up? So it hasn't doesn't look like it's booted since the last time we restarted it. It's still I, I wish I could see what server version it's on. There's a large underworld in this map. <laughs> okay, that's intriguing. I didn't know that, Derek. Where's the entrance to it? Can you tell me where the entrance is? Let me see if anybody's actually logging on to the server. Um, see the server? Question mark. I can't tell if it's actually going through the glitch stuff either. Oh, and Sergio, server doesn't appear for you? Okay. The problem is if I don't catch it before its next restart loop, then I have to wait like 20 minutes. See the server? Oh, okay, people say this is the server. Okay, we might have gotten lucky. All right, hold on, let me, let me see. It might have actually been an update. Mm, what's up? I'm going to play my time at Sandrock. It just re released. 
Um, sweet baby beluga whale. Where are we? Oh my god, how long of a rollback was that? Alright, so we didn't get any birds banging yet. Alright, we still... Okay, so it's like a five minute rollback. That's not bad. Alright, let me wait for people to get back on. We are officially back on the server. Uh, we'll post... Uh, everyone... It's... Back up. Please kill me in the face. Server was 26.6 .6 before. It, uh, what is it now? I don't even know. There's 43 people already back on. Oh my god. <laughs> um, it's going to be a little bit laggy while we get everybody trying to log back into the server. I am going to grab myself a drink because I certainly need one. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, feel free to funnel that like button a little bit. Show it some love. Helps out so much. And um, we'll be right back. Because we need to make sweet, sweet babies with... Am I dying? I'm dying. Let's eat some meat first. All right, I'll be right back.
I may or may not have made a depression hot pocket. <clears throat> All right. Paint lay stockings on them. All right, we got one people, one one people, one person back. I believe the last thing we were doing was trying to fly these RGs over. So we had a male and a female that we needed. Let's bring the female over first. Don't forget your stuff is on Coco. Thank you. I would have one billion percent forgot about that. This is what we were doing as we... Alright, so we should be able to get our groove on here. Also, thank you again to... Anxious Owl. Hey, and voice chat's working again, so that's good. A depression hot pocket? Like, what flavor? <laughs> oh! Oh my god. I don't know who that is, but they're running around. Alright, so let's grab the... We need the male to be able to get that other color mutation. Did Sky was Sky able to get her stuff? I think Sky got the animals. I have no idea. Did Sky get her bird for trade? I'm not sure. I gotta I gotta go look. I have no idea. I don't remember how long ago that was. I forgot the saddle. I don't see them down here. So I'm assuming she was able to get them. Cause they were they were right here. Nope. Okay, they're right here. No. I have no idea. Sky found her bird, but not her body. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, maybe we can help her find her body. Blake, here's some whiskey and Red Bull money. <laughs> Thank you, Blake. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Definitely need that. I still got D&D &D tonight, too. Phyla and Bird are indeed gone. All right, let me see if... Let's see if we can help Sky real quick. Um, second. Caps lock. Piss off. There we go. Oh my god, I'm getting painted. <laughs> she found it? Okay, she found her body? Oh my god. Is she streaming right? Did she go live? Is that what happened? Hold on. I swear to God, if the server died when she went live, I'm going to be so... I feel so bad. Uh, arena... Sky. I think... Okay. When I got the script, I was like, does Taco Bell really not okay. have a breakfast? <laughs> I would have... I, I felt so bad. With Sky and Twitch. It's a Arena Sky. All right, let me make sure she doesn't need any help with anything. Crazy server stuff. See them anywhere, but I imagine she was probably making her way back to her base. I don't want her to lose the Thyla or the bird. Oh. <laughs> Sky with an E? Yes. Yes, Sky with an E at the end. Alright, let's get this bird over there. I'll put a link to the, uh, to the Twitch as well here in the description in a moment. Now I got it pulled up. We didn't need those, it's fine. Bird. Bird, do landy things, please. Thank you.
Okay. All right, we're going to keep trying for our RG mutations. As well as our, uh, our Thyla mutations. Everything's a freaking disaster right now, but it'll be okay. It'll be good. Oh. We do, we do have a, we have a baby Thyla right there with a mutation. I don't know. It's a stat mutation of some sort. This is a 312. Oh, there's Stamp's body. <gasps> Alright, so this baby has got something on it. Let's see what it is. We have got... Numbers, numbers, numbers. I'm so laggy while people try and get back on. Numbers, 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 numbers. Okay, all the numbers that I care about are numbering the same. Oh, no, we got a health mutation on the baby. Okay. Health mutation on the baby. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Happy with that. Alright, we have to... Oh, there's somebody else here. Baby, come out! Sweet baby beluga whale. Anyways, hope everyone's having a great day. Sorry for the, uh, the absolute nightmare that we just had to, uh, had to deal with. Of course, our baby can't get out. That's always fun. Because we got AI pathfinding that's so good. It's so much smarter than a regular human. Yo, <laughs> Rose. Yo, Rose, how are you doing today? Are you drinking gin? Because I'm about to take a shot of vodka. <laughs> Need a, a, a partner in crime. We got some eggs over yonder. We got one. Let's see if we get lucky. I feel like we deserve some luck after the... Uh, after what just transpired. Hopefully, Sky did get everything back that she had, right? <clears throat> you survived. <laughs> Thank God. Sky survived. You got your stuff. Oh my God. I was just, I was just asking. <laughs> Ooh, they got a paintbrush. All right, we need to repaint stamp. We need a we need a better tramp stamp for stamp other than the uh, the the one that I chose to go with. Maybe we'll go with a smiley face. It'll be good. God, can we do R dots lights blue? Light bloom's not a thing. Interesting. Like, I, j I like the light bloom, but it's also, like, it's just, like, too much, you know? What are we doing in stamp right now? Draw a verified stamp stamp. <laughs> All right, we'll go with uh, being tag team down there. Uh, 
put some hair on here. And then, then control, put a, like a little hand coming out of here. And knuckle, knuckle. Perfect. Nailed it. <laughs> so vulgar. It's how I feel today, Stamp. I forgot you can paint yourself too. I would love it if these eggs hatched. It'd be fantastic. Oh, ooh. All right, we got, we got the wing, oh! And we got an extra freaking magenta feats. <gasps> we got magenta feats and we got the body mutation too. On twins nonetheless. So are they both males? They're both males. Okay, we gotta murderize one in the face. That was super lucky. Oh hell yeah. Alright, so we got uh we got the two mutations off of these. That's super lucky. Nuxie is playing our D&D &D finale and it took 10 hours. Oh my God. I got D&D &D tonight. Should be an interesting scenario. I love like the new pathfinding. It just makes me so excited. When they follow the opposite direction than you're trying to walk. It's like so good. <clears throat> Like, somebody should get a raise for how good it is. All right, that one can stay there right now. What do I play as in D&D? &D? It is a Revenge Paladin at the moment. Bird, 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 bird. They see me bird in. Hey, in. My bird has the brain worms. So we've got magenta wings, right? I think. So we got the adolescent combo. Like, that's going to look so good on this one. So what we want to do is we want to take the magenta body that we just got. And we're going to add it to that one right there. With the magenta feet and the magenta head and the wingtips and sweet baby Jesus, we got ourselves a purple freaking bird. So this is a this is a female. What do we get over here? This is uh, it's a female. What the heck and what are you doing? Stop! I whistled you. No, bad. Stop! I will murder you in the face. Are you sh- You were kidding. I will paint you. Where do I paint it? Oh god, I can't paint it really well. Um... Is what are you? You're a male. Perfect. Wait, why don't you just paint the birds? Because it's not as good. It's not as good.
It's gonna be such a pretty bird, though. It's gonna look so nice. What the heck and what is going on? We did it! <laughs> Breeding is the fun part of colors. Oh, yeah. This is going to be such a pretty bird. I'm like, I'm like super excited. We've got some some other pretty purple colors still too. All right, pick up. Oh, that's rose. All right, behavior disable mating. Pick up this egg, then we'll disable mating. Oh. All right, so we got the wombo combo here, which has the nice purple tail. Courtesy of Sky. I think that's going to be good. That's almost, that's a full mutation right there. Because what we'll do, we need to breed this back to the male. So the male has, the male has this. God, it's going to look so good. And then this female has magenta feet with the purple little wingtips. Yes, sir, e doodles. And then we will have our fully mutated RG, which will become our main mount for the game. 210 and a 210. You missed your black and white Thyla? What time is it? It's five o'clock. So this is typically our streaming time, which means I'll post on Discord that we're actually live for once. I can tab out of the everything. No? That's cool. I didn't want to tab out anyways. Why would I want to do that? There we go. Still trying for the Thyla mutations. I think we need to figure out a good way to... to get all four of them breeding, though. Uh, do you have PvP mode enabled to kill babies? Yes, so this is a PvE server with PvP enabled. Uh, so, And the PvP is strictly for breeding purposes because you need to be able to kill the babies because we have extremely accelerated breeding rates. And we also have, uh, what is it, 2x XP, 5, or 4x harvesting. And this is a community server, so... If you want to join as this one, as well as any future servers that we host, which I think I'm going to be launching the next one in a couple days, if not tomorrow. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll back this up. Just want to get it close enough. If we... Oh, it's stuck. Mm-hmm. Oh. <gasps> oh, we got a beautiful salmon bellied baby Thylacaleo. Bet your servers are stacked. Well, there's 81 people on this one right now, uh, which is larger than a official server for Ark. Oh, the Thyla is going to be so pretty. Ooh, hell yeah. All right. Oh, I forgot about my hot pocket. Mm. All right, our first, well, not our first. This has a purple back. 
I like that it's purple back question mark like stamped didn't believe me. Because this is a black back. It's definitely a purple back mutation over there. Alright, so we need to take this one. And... Oh, Thylet, stop, stop following me. That salmon mutation looks so good. The whistling is broken. Was there a new update? What happened? Oh my god. Who is that up there? There's a whole bunch of RGs up there. Alright, I can't get the dinos to not follow me anymore. Let me know if you want some of these colors. I think we're all right. That body color is kind of nice, though. Hmm. I think we're okay. I think we've got our fully mutated RG already. Why can I not whistle? <clears throat> follow all, follow one. All right, where's the unfollow button? Like, you is not working. <clears throat> A violent potato, what'd it do? Are you serious right now? Oh, see down nice. Jesus, I cannot get them done follow anymore. Uh stop all? Nope. Awesome. Can't pick up your eggs, so something's definitely up. Maybe. They're not following me anymore, so there's that. No, I committed suicide to, to get them to stop following me. But they're following something still, which is odd. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. 
All right, that's the salmon belly. Is eating, just doesn't look like it's eating. Got a thyla right there. Thyla right there. Okay, I think we're okay now. Sweet baby Jesus. Tech bomb. Wait, tech binoculars? You can see mutations on the dino. Yeah, but I ain't got none of those yet. Eventually we will. Ooh, there's chitin leggings in the blue drop. I'm assuming that's the blue drop up there. Let's go grab those, because we are still all naked. Except for the, the gloves that we had. God, that light bloom is bananas. I want to know who at wildcard is like, man, all of this super duper light makes me moister than an oyster. Because they could definitely use the... T they, they, might, they might be like legally blind. It's an unnecessary level of light bloom. Do they make the Transformers movies by chance? Like, I just don't know. All right, we got pants at the very least. Oh my God. Very nearly almost died. All right, let's see what we got going on, y'all. We need Wombo Combo. It's a 254 female, so we need our male over here. I believe it's this one to get fully grown. We're at 53% right now. That's not bad. JJ Abrams is a wildcard employee, obviously. It may be. Maybe. Still got a ton of RG eggs in here. on a dino. If I don't do it on a dino, then they're all going to stack together. Today is taking forever, but in a bad way. Oh no, LJ. Well, that's no bueno. Can you borrow a male pteranodon? I don't think I, I don't know if I have any good ones. for the most part in one spot. Kayla, oh no, what happened, Kayla? <laughs> Alright, one second.
But there we go. What's the egg left in my... Uh, these are unfertilized eggs. Um, let's see here. Do we have a male pteranodon? Oh my god. Doobie, why are you bringing a level 7 pteranodon over here? Who hurt you? All right, let me find a let me find a pteranodon. We've got to have an extra one here somewhere. I am inside of a bird. Ooh. What's happening? Farewell, bird Jesus. Protect us all from the server crashes. I don't see any two... Oh! Oh! There's a mutation right there. We got a 254... Lord, sweet baby Jesus. There's a random 240 in here for some reason. Oh, we got another mutation. Hey, look at that lime green. Hell yeah. All right, then we got another 254 over here, which I think is just a stat. Oh no, it's a yellow body. Nice. The old yellow taint mutation. I do believe those are the only two we got. Yeah. Oh, sweet. We got a new follow bug. Hell yeah. Wildcard, y'all killing it out there. Y'all should get raises. Y'all are so good at making video games and breaking stuff that wasn't freaking broken. I can't even, I can't even begin to fathom the skill level that it requires to do such a thing. So how are we doing on this one? This one is at 76%. Why? What? What is happening right now? Everything's losing its mind. I just don't... Oh, hello. Hello. 210. 210. Oh, oh somebody just got impregnated. 210. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. are needed so bad. Yeah, but they're super broken right now. Wildcard has not figured out how to make them work yet. Oh. Somebody in their mom's basement will figure it out, though. That's a really good one, Koi. Hell yeah. Right, so whistles are completely broken right now. I 
I don't know how to get this to fix itself. You want to land? No? That's cool. It's fine. Oh! You know what? Maybe we restart the game. No, we already did that, right? We, we already restarted the game. We tried that at least once. Alright, so this is the one that we need to breed to combo. Let's find all of our stuff. We died in here, right? Man, this green mutation actually looks really nice. That green and yellow might be a nice combination. I don't know. We'll mess with it. We'll have some fun with it. Is the game worth the purchase? If you like Ark Survival Evolved and you have a computer that is not a potato and you don't mind getting super angry every couple of hours, then yeah. Here's some takeout money or something tasty, especially during times of great frustration. Thank you, Gigi. I, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna order for D&D &D tonight. Maybe pizza. Maybe pizza. Kind of want some Chinese food, though. I really love when dinos follow the opposite direction, though. Like, it's... Y'all think Chinese? I'm game for some Chinese. I'd be down for that. Some fo you know what? I, I kind of, I think I'd be down for like a poke bowl or something. That'd be kind of nice. Get some like tuna. I don't know how to get these freaking birds out of here. Doobie's dying somewhere. That was one of your favorites. Do I play D and D remotely? No, everybody's coming here for D and D. So I, I built a D and D table. Uh, it's got like a TV inside. I posted it on Twitter. I've got it's got like a TV inside of it for like uh, So our DM can build like a 3d map kind of thing. I think we got everybody out And by everybody I mean You know what you're gonna be called turd nugget now because you have you know what we're gonna call you brain worms Are you fully grown yet? You're an adolescent. You are at 94%. Two ten. Okay. What a crazy, crazy day. Is the pink feet RG still there? I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's right here. So we have everything we need for our fully mutated RG. Aside from the fact that I cannot... I can't get dinos to stop following me unless I kill myself now. Which is awesome.
Maybe the group is selected? No. We did it! I had to spam. I had to spam the numerical keyboard with you at the same time to fix it. Like, it didn't work the first couple times, but it did work the second couple of times. The second to 50 billionth time. They love you so much they don't want to leave your side. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we got we got our RG mutation that we wanted. Me scoozy, me scoozy. So now we need a saddle. I think we, let's see if we can get lucky. Like this would be perfect, a perfect way to end the day. If we can get a couple of mutations. All right, bird, enable banging. Enable love making. All right, we need uh, we need some good non copyright bird love music. Brain orbs make for a cool Halloween Halloween Dino pack. It's gonna look so pretty when it's combined, though. Oh my god. It's gonna look so nice. Bird love music, yeah. Like some earth, wind, and fire. The green is actually really, really pretty. I really hope we get lucky on that one. Are these still... God, we have such a hot mess over here right now. Oh, this isla is almost fully grown. We're going to bring that over here. I'd love to see you play Don't Scream. <laughs> you know, I saw a video on Don't Scream today. Um, Y'all have seen my heart rate when I play horror games. I literally sit at like a resting BPM of like 60. <laughs> I'd have to fake it. That's the problem. Like I just don't find horror games entertaining. No, I don't think I'd. Because if it's just, if it relies on really loud noises, then I will scream. And that might be entertaining. But I do feel like this yellow and green might be pretty together. What do we think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Because we can do that too. Are they male and female? They are male and female. It's like the universe wanted it to happen. The thing is you literally cannot say anything. That's that's a little bit more challenging, did you say? That's jade green? Okay. It's also still got green in the name, so we're going to call it green for now. Ooh, lots of thumbs downs. Okay. All right. We can eat stamps booty like groceries. No Packers birds. Okay, that... You know what? A. A. Ron Rogers isn't part of the Packers anymore, so... Do we still have to hate the Packers? You get more scared playing grounded than horror games? Oh, for sure. Because spiders suck. Ah, uh, blues. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry that there's no official release date for PS5 yet. I hate them because of the fans. Yeah, they wear cheese on their heads. Who does that? Her ego is Prego. Your wall placement triggered my OCD so bad. It, it, it triggered mine too. But I was like, you know what? Sometimes 
Sometimes life <laughs> requires necessity. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to get something placed. All right, egg, egg, egg. I do love Grounded. Grounded is such a good game. All right, what you gonna do with that big bird But We still need clothes. We got pants. The chitin pants also have butt flaps, which is a little weird. It's like a butt tail. Big Shot Kev, is the game easy to start from scratch without knowing anything? If you're particularly masochistic, um, and you don't mind dying a lot, and getting murdered by dinos, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be great. You'll have such a good time. It is probably, I, I don't, I think I would say pretty, ooh, pretty confidently that it's probably the most oppressive survival game to get into. Um, but once you do get into it and get past the beginning, it's probably one of the most enjoyable as well. Despite the bugs and glitches and, and all that stuff, it really is my all-time favorite survival game by far. So to answer your question, is it easy to get into? It's harder than most games, but it is far more enjoyable. You will get more playtime out of Ark than potentially any other game that you will play for 40 bucks. By far. I'm gonna probably turn down the volume a little bit. There we go. Plus, you can be naked, and you can make really creepy characters. It's great. It's a wonderful time. What mutation? Look at. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh! Triplets! Oh, praise Ark Jesus! We got triplets with <laughs> with all of the mutations on one. You have got to be... Who did I blow to get such good luck today? Oh my god, we got a female. Did we get a male? We got a female. And we got a female. We got triplet females of all of the purple on one dino. My God. The server before Unicorn Jesus hears you. All right, we got to stay nice and close so they can walk straight out. Got to give them sassy valley girl names. Okay. Can we please, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs, get some great valley girl names for RGs right now? Well, we'll have to give them away at some point in time because I only need one of them. Attack, I'm about to rob you of them. So we need three valley girl names. Please put your best valley girl names in the uh, in the chat right now. And then we will, <laughs> we will name them and it'll be great. Behavior, disable mating. Maybe you're disabled mating. Tiffany. <laughs> <It's that> <laughs> Alright, we got... Let's see here. Options, change name. Alright, what do we got? We got... 
Oh my god. Y'all y'all coming out of the woodworks all of a sudden. Felicia. Felicia's a pretty great valley girl name. And then let's see your options change name. We definitely Ashley's definitely there's a lot of Ashley's in the valley. Telecom. Stacy. Wait. Barbara? I don't know. Change name. Vanessa? Ooh. Brittany. Brittany's a pretty great valley girl name. There we go. Amethyst. That's a that's a stripper name. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait. Yes, wait. No, we spelled this one wrong. You're right, Bungie. We spelled this one wrong. We got to go with Ashley, right? That's the Valley Girl spelling for Ashley. Bungie's one billion percent right. It's Ashley. Blah, 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 blah. Man, these birds are going to be so pretty. Barbie? No, I didn't ask for stripper names. I asked for valley girl names. <laughs> no pink claws? No, we gotta get uh, we gotta get the pink claws on there and then we're good to go. Although I don't know if I like that that head color on there. Wait. Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know. I don't think I like that head color on there. Well, god dang it, Bobby. It helps to stand out. It definitely it definitely stands out. That's true. Oh man, so we got a female here. All right, so and we got all female babies. Which means we have <laughs> All right, do we have a different head? Look at this. Wait, where's your purple come from? You got purple butt. Purple butt. That's a dark purple butt. All right, what other head? Okay, let's go this way, maybe. Read more RGs. We gotta get a different head mutation. Like a dark purple would be fire. Or we could fly around and see who's got some head mutations out there. <gasps> we got a green one somewhere. Oh. Green would definitely not look good though. You have a purple crest on your RG? Koi, where are you at? A purple crest, you say? Ooh, what kind of purple? Oh boy! Is it a male or a female? Alright, no thylum mutations. You have a cyan head mutation? Cyan? I don't know. I don't think cyan would look particularly good. 
no color wizard, but I feel like that's not going to look great. We gotta put we gotta put stamp on her proper bed. Eh. No. Really? Stamp, are you too th Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a female 223, you say. All right. All right. This is a male. You're at 962, huh? 962. Where is that? Oh, my Lanta. Are you sure? So you're in the the winter biome. Oh, my lord. All right. We got a long way to go, but we can open up some drops along the way. Maybe get some good gear. All right, D and D at eight thirty. <clears throat> Isn't gear on Coco? Well, my weapons are on. I have some. Why is there a bird randomly placed in the water right there? Um, I have weapons on Coco, but I don't have, like, armor on Coco. We got some nice Rexes over there. Nice little house. Where are we off to? Um, we have somebody on the server with a purple crested RG. And the goal is, because I don't like the crest that we've got on, on the last mutation we got. And the crest is that is that open spot on our bird right here. So we've got like the different purples right now. 
And we've got the, the purple body, but we want a different crest. Maybe something that'll blend a little bit better um, with the current mutations that we're going for. Then we still got purple feet. But essentially, we're flying up to the snow biome right now uh, to see if the mutation they have will will look better on our bird than the current one that we have. Which I think it will. We're going to stop at this blue drop. we got two bl blue drops on the way. And then we can turn north after picking up both of those. I think the current crest looks pretty good. Mm -mm. It's too bright. Need something to mute it out a little bit, like a darker purple. Chase, thank you for coming to Super Bean. Welcome to the community. Um... I can't help. Oh, thank you, Eclipse. All right, so Sky's got a Uteranus to the ground. We might fly over there, try and fix that. All right, let me let me pick up this this blue drop, and then we'll we'll head over there. A purple drop <laughs> landed next to it. I've never seen a game that could be easily more improved by an unstuck button. Yeah. It's... Uh, but see, in the unstuck button, because there's dinos that will just go, like, under the map. And you literally have no... Like, nothing you can do about it. It's... It's absolutely insane. Sierra, I gotta go off to cook at my parents'. We do a Sunday dinner every week. Oh, nice. Can't wait to get home and make more Capro babies. Hell yeah. Hope you have a wonderful night. Thanks for that jerky. Uh, Tyler, thank you for coming to Majestic Bean. Welcome to the community. another blue drop here and we'll head to the RG area. Why does Ark have massive pools under the uh, under the floor? Essentially, the way Ark works is they have decided to basically create water all on one level. There's multiple ways you can you can put water and swimming levels in a game, uh, but the way that most of their stuff works is that the ocean is on a particular level, and that ocean extends across the map at the same level as an entire body of water. Um, so land, when it's above it, is land, but if you go under that land, the ocean is still there. And that's why it, that's why it looks like that. It's basically a giant box that extends across the entire map uh, for the ocean level.
<laughs> Mega, what happened to all your dodos? We got a blue drop on the way. Oh, Mafia Mama's got Val stuff. Nice. Does anybody know if you can turn back on the beacons that, like, rise from the corpse to be able to find your stuff? Because that made life so much easier. Um, but as far as I know, it doesn't exist in this one for some reason. Ascendant crossbow and a Sarco saddle. Hell yeah, there we go. All right, slowly getting our stuff back from when we died. Nice. They fell below the ground. Oh no. Aw, oh, blues. I'm glad you enjoyed it. That means a lot. I think they're just over this way. For ASC, it was uh, B use corpse locator equals true. Yeah, we currently have that setting on, but it does not seem to be working. <clears throat> An ascendant blue thing. <clears throat> Is there a cheat command to move dinos? Uh... Mounting a dino and then tell. Did I just. I think it got picked up. <laughs> Ooh, yellow drop. Oh my god, we're gonna die from cold if we're not careful. Oh shoot. Oh my god, that's <laughs> that's super nice. <laughs> Just so happen to have the hat on us. I can't tell if the drop is dropped or nope. I also need the location of the uh, the purple bird again. It was like nine. Is it nine sixty two? Oh, we might have just passed it. It's like right behind us. Nine sixty two. Yeah, that was the one we just passed. Like directly down there. We'll get this yellow drop and then we'll head over there. Uh, but also, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for the support. 
on the uh, the Ark server or Ark Survival Ascended series so far. Y'all have been absolutely wonderful. Uh, and thank you for everybody that's playing on the server with your patience, with all the issues that have been happening uh, with Natredo and and uh, Wildcard. Somebody's trying to get this yellow drop as well. Can't see it anymore, though. Uh, but I really do appreciate it. All the patience, the support, everything. Y'all have been absolutely wonderful. And uh, hopefully over time, things will get a little bit more stabilized. <laughs> Trash NATO would be a very, very uh, accurate description. I think they posted that they have 20,000. Ooh, whoa, 537.6% Ascendant Crossbow. Then we got a blueprint for Ascendant Fur Leggings and some Silica Pearl. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Can you send me a video of me screaming? Sure, why not? Just Discord, Twitter, Gmail, whatever your heart desires. Yeah, that crossbow is really nice. All right, there's the base. It's my least favorite dino to tame. I don't know if I have a least favorite one, if I'm being honest. Wait, is that the same color? Oh, that's the same... Oh, no. That's the same color head that we were already... <laughs> uh, that's the same exact color we were already using. It looks really weird on, uh, on our bird. We need a darker color, I think. Shoot. These thylos look really nice, though. This very much reminds me of the... Of our first Thylakaleo mutation streams that we started doing. When we started streaming way back in the day, like five years ago. Now we're almost at the amount of people that used to watch us breed Thylas back in the day. But this is very close. We had a purple belly for ours. It was We called it Blueberry. Way back. Way back in the olden times. What time is it? Almost six. Um, I guess this is probably a pretty good place for us to stop. It's, it's almost streaming for four hours. Um, but I do really, really appreciate all of you hanging out. Um, we know, uh, Freaky is going to be streaming in about 30 minutes. Um, I don't know if, um, if Sky or anybody else is streaming tonight or Stamp or anybody. But um, thank you all so much for hanging out, you wonderful, wonderful humans. I hope you all have a fantastic night, and I'll see you all in the next one.